IDK, where we learn to do some things that we may not know how to do, okay? And today, we are learning how to make the perfect charcuterie board. And for that, we're bringing in Nadia Stumbo, the owner of I Like Big Boards. Yeah. And we're so excited to have you. We are, and these, I, these are so big in my house. We, and, and now, yeah. nothing fancy like this. We don't, we just slap stuff on a, <laughs> on a charcuterie board and call Still it counts. good. That's okay. You're going to fancy me up yes, a little bit here. I, I'm, I'm excited about that. I am here to fancy you guys up. That Absolutely. is beautiful. So you create custom boutique charcuterie boards. Tell us a little bit about your business and the design behind it. Well, the... Really, I can create anything anyone wants. You can make a charcuterie board out of anything. Um, I do vegan, vegetarian, um, candy boards. Ooh. If you can throw it on a board, you can. It's, we can call it charcuterie, down to the uh, typical, which are uncured meats and cheeses. All right, so you're going to teach us some tips and tricks for creating charcuterie boards at home. So to start, uh, what kind of cheeses pair well together? I mean, we usually do brie in my house, okay. and maybe like a cheddar or something like that. That's great. That's exactly. Is that good? Oh, that's good. Right. You're winning. You're winning. You're, you're doing the right thing. You know, cheese is typically whatever you like. You really should go with what you like. You can do a mild with a sharp. That's a contrast is always a good thing. Okay. Um, there's really great ways to try different cheeses. We'll get into that a little bit later, but. Um, it, it, different textures are great to use. Perfect. There's all Beautiful. You should be creative. So you're going to teach us how to do a little something. Yeah. Right. Through this. Okay. So the salami rose is a very popular thing. I don't know if you guys have yes. seen this. Yes. But, yes. Okay. Oh, each of you guys know. have a little. We have a shot glass over here and a champagne flute. She okay. knows me, y'all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to have fancy equipment to do this and look really good. So you guys also have some salami here. Okay. Just mm -hmm. store bought salami. All right. Um, it's best if this is at room temperature. Okay. okay. It's a little more pliable. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just take one. Yes, of course. Here. You're going to take this salami. I'm going to fold it in half. Fold it in half. Okay. Just half on each side of the rim. Oh, okay. Okay. You're oh, going to hold it down a little bit. You're going to take your next piece of salami. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Squeeze that in. And you're going to overlap about halfway on the salami right here. Okay. okay. You're going to just keep doing that just around. Keep... Yeah. Okay. Hold Great. them together a little bit. Pinch it. Pinch it. Yeah. Okay. And then about and halfway just, throughout. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, the closer the better. You can't really mess this up. How am I, how am I doing that? You're, you're doing great. You really can't. Oh, so you beautiful. Just, yeah, you're perfect. You're just going to go around, keep going. Do you around. just keep going? Keep, keep doing going. it? Keep going. You know, as much salami as you feel like. Okay. You need to make a nice little rose. You're going to oh, see this. it Okay. as you go. I think. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Let's see. Let's take okay. a peek. Yeah. Oh, so we've got a little bit bigger of an opening here, so uh -huh. you can you can keep going. I feel like I'm doing pretty good here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you are. Ooh, uh -huh. it does. You're like moving fast. You got about two pieces there, you think, Brian? What, what's going on? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. this is what we do. Okay. Okay. We're going to take that, flip it over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you guys have a little board okay. right there. You're going to hold that down. Okay. okay. Kind of wiggle the, the glass out. Oh, yeah! Yes. Oh, yeah. Good, okay. I'm almost ready. Yeah. I'm almost you ready. See, you could use a little bit more when because you have a bigger opening, but that's yeah. perfect. Okay, we're going to try it. There see it what goes. happens. This was super Ooh, good, fun. right? No. Fun, right? Oh. That's... You impress your friends. Look at that. I feel like th this is going to really impress people. It's totally. not that hard either. No. That was Ooh, yeah. that's easy. That's great. Yeah. See? Beautiful. It's great. You can <laughs> take some garnish, put it around, make it look like a real rose. Okay. I like that. I love it. Okay. Yeah. The next thing we're going to do, you guys have a kiwi. Okay. 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 Grab that. Grab your little knife. Paring knife is great. So we're going to take that. Okay. You're going to make a little cut. Just a little slant. Okay. 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 Go about halfway in. Okay. And you're going to just continue doing that around the whole fruit, okay? If okay. you want to put like it like little M's? Yeah. Okay. M's for meringue. Just uh, yeah. kind, of, kind of zigzag? <laughs> yeah, zigzag, zigzag. Okay. all the way around the whole fruit, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Without slicing your fingers. Right. That's the yeah. big one. That okay. is the big one. Okay. All right. Oh, so this is just done with one of these knives. I was wondering if there was like a special contraption. No, that's the thing. I... You know, you don't have to have fancy equipment. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't have any special things to create. Just any creativity. Of this. Yeah, and that's that's it. Okay, you okay. guys should get all the way around. Okay, okay I'm almost there. Perfect. Perfect. Love them. Big cuts like that. Okay, got it. <laughs> my cut's got a little floppy there. That's okay. That's, that's oh my great. gosh! It's, it's like, actually great that it looks like that because it doesn't have to be perfect. You're perfect. adding style right. to it. It's, it's so personality. Yeah. It has personality. So, okay. You're right. So you guys are gonna wiggle a little bit. Okay. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, look at that. Still does look okay. See? 
You really can't You're go right. wrong. How about that? Okay. That very crooked, y'all. <laughs> it's great. So then, you know, what's going to happen is mm -hmm. the magic of TV. Okay. okay. This is what yours are going to look like <gasps> when you put some of those elements together. Beautiful. Can we get See? a tight shot of this? Wow. So, oh, look at that. And that was a, I mean, it's not too terribly hard to make it look super fancy. No. Like you get in a restaurant. No. Does it break your heart when people start eating it? No. <laughs> people, people never want to eat the roses. And I'm like, eat the roses. It's supposed to be. It's, yes, you're supposed yes. to eat. This is, it can look pretty, but you still got to eat it. That is okay. beautiful. Yeah. Now, yeah. okay, before we got like 10 seconds, okay. how much do you need for like a party of four people? Not that much, probably. No, okay. this would feed about 10. Two to three ounces of meat and cheese per guest. Great guideline. Beautiful. Thank uh, you so much yeah. for teaching us today. This was great. This was this good. This was so great. Thank I learned something you. new. I'm good job. Good job, All you guys. Right. Well, you can <laughs> check out I Like Big Boards to order custom charcuterie boards for all of your special occasions. We do have an info with some more information on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live.